Welcome to RP Hub. In this video, we'll discuss about how to configure UiPath government's policy. So when we are talking about the project point of view, RPA project point of view, governance policy is very important when we have secure data environment or secured policy related regulations like uh, InfoSec regulations or compliance regulations. These type of government policy is always required when we are working on any RPA project to ensure studio users adhere to development standards and comply with certain rules. Organizations can enforce governance policy that control studio functionality. We can enforce governance policy in one of the following methods like create and deploy policy from UiPath automation ops and easy to use web application available in automation cloud. Otherwise, in second way, use a file based governance model and consist of creating a JSON policy file and deploying the file locally, externally or via orchestrator. So we'll show you how we can do this complete activity in UiPath. So if you are really interested to learn about that, then watch complete video. And if you are new to this channel, consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates. Let's begin with creation of governance policy in UiPath Studio. Once we launch UiPath Studio, you will find it out help section here. From here, you have to simply click on generate governance policy. When you are clicking on the governance policy, you will find it out two options, classic policy or modern policy. It's totally dependent on your project to project and which component you are working. If you are working on classic policy or classic folder in orchestrator, simply click on classic policy and it will generate a policy for you. So let me save here and then we will open it and see how it looks. So click on save and once we are saving, this file will be created on our desktop. So we'll show you how it looks. So this is the policy I'm opening in the notepad. Uh, so let me open it. You can see these are the components which is available in the studio governance policy. The current capabilities are in full post studio, studio pro or studio X or and any combination therefore restrict uses of package feeds from the managed packages window and backstage view. So if we want to do this type of settings in the studio, simply we have to go to this and manage sources. When we are importing in this type of component, we have to just add from here. And when we are adding from this sections, we can see these type of governance policies already available. Now, if we want to use this file as a local file, then we have to place the governance file in the roaming folder or in the machine where studio is installed. So if it is installed in C drive, you have to paste it in C drive. Or if we are using this file in external file or large deployments, place this governance file on HTTP server or HTTPS server is totally up to you. But if you want to add in the orchestrator, say in the orchestrator, copy this content of the governance file into an asset in orchestrator. So here you will find it out. The This is the orchestrator login credentials where you will find it out asset section here. So uh, simply go to the orchestrator, then any specific folder like robot or the folders, so you'll find out the assets from the asset sections. You can add this file into the governance folder. Now, post generating this file, we can also connect to the cloud orchestrator. We are prompted to select where the generate a classic or modern policy, as I said. So if you are using um, a folder wise structure, this is the assets where data will be there. If you are using classic folder, then you can install this into the classic or generate the key from here in the classic. Or if you are using for the modern folders, kindly generate from the modern folder. Now, if we want to select the configure the versions of this, then we do have the metadata versions. So let me open this file and see 
you will find it out metadata version here which is 1.0 it's totally up to your system to system configurations you can make the changes according to your version here you will find a test policy if you want to test this policy you can use it and test it so you can also write the name of the policy as in registry key editor you can add the info in registry file now when we are talking about the parameters parameter metadata contains major dot minor between version quotation marks info fail will give you a label written between quotation mark and visible in backstage help under company policy studio profiles and send feedbacks are basically mentioned here you'll find it are all these studio profile listed here where you can make the changes according to your requirement now if we are talking about the profiles so for the studio development or for studio x business for studio pro studio pro all there are accepted in the same file so it doesn't matter whenever you are we have extracted this file from your studio x or studio pro or from the test suite it will applicable for all these files now you can find out source informations allowed removed feeds will show you what all parameters and what is the requirement or mandate for it so when we are talking about the package manager which allow add remove feeds so add remove feeds is basically used for either true or false so if there is a different value then it will not accepted or if we want to make it true then that will work accordingly when then we have allow enable disable feeds this is also a boolean type of character so either this will be true or false allow orchestrator feeds is also true or false then the feeds in the feed section so you will find it out the name uh, label written between quotation marks visible in the manage packages source is basically feed source written between quotation marks so when we are keeping the enable is enable fail is true basically we have to do it working structure because of that it it should be true if the allowed add remove feeds and allow enable disable feeds parameter are set to true the user may modify feeds available in the package manager if any changes are made they are persisted between studio is restarted if the allow orchestrator feeds parameter is set to true and robot is connected to orchestrator users cannot disable the default orchestrator feeds feeds that the defined in the governance file are added to the default package source section in the manage packages window and the user can add the custom feeds to the user defined package source locations when we are talking about the studio settings studio settings is basically divided into the allow added uh, you will find it out allow added sections here where the object browser send ui description parameter allow fit false and true these parameters are basically indicating whether or not users are allowed to change the default setting configured by the governance file true to allow false to deny value indicates the default setting as described in the following tables like source control source control is basically giving the backstage settings uh, and the parameter info check in before publish so these are the parameters is required under workflow you will find it out different sections are there where you can change according to your requirement so this is how we are using gormens file uh, in studio and when we have default project language parameter we do have the user c sharp language like if you are using bv vb then that should be vb uh here configuration file not embedded ruling sections regex if your the parameter is regex value you will not create a doc annotations doc annotation parameters is basically either true or false when we are talking about the language point of view you will find it out the different uh, language sections here where Uh, it's totally dependent on a studio language. If you are using C sharp, that should be ah uh, populated with the C sharp, or it should be ah uh, VB dot net. So these are the settings we are using on the regular basis. So there are n number of ah uh, JSON attributes are there where where you can modify it accordingly. Project path is basically showing the default project parameter to change the location, enter into the path to the folder where custom rules are stored between quotation marks. So when we'll search out for the language, you 
you can find out the default project language parameter where well, visual basic is auto selected but we can change it according to our need process published url parameter is basically use the default location to change the location into path between quotation mark published parameter is also defined after uh, making changes at all we have enforcing rules enforcing rules are there are two types of manage the custom rule set in the ui path policies dot config governance file point to the rule set located at one of the following paths on the local machines or shared on a network server or machine identified by the unc path so this is how we are using governance file in um, ui path if we want to paste this uh, governance file into the registry, then we have to go to the local registry key where our UiPath Studio will be installed. Edge key current user, you have to define software and the UiPath path and hit enter. When you will hit enter governance source name of the new value, do not use another name of the value. So governance source is the file name should be kept there if you are using different name that should not connect with your uh, uipath studio and if you are keeping this file inside the orchestrator then you have to go to the uipath.settings.configurations where asset name should be uipath studio .governance, governance source so these are the fields we have to define in the uipath studio and orchestrator post that you can use it at any point of time so which is very important part when we are working on the rpa projects so that's all about the uipath governance policy hope you liked it if you really enjoyed the session consider subscribing and pressing bell icon for more updates thank you for watching